Okay guys, I'm back and we are about to dumpster dive today. I did just lift this up and it does look like there might be some stuff in here. I don't know if everything's going to be broken. You can see that's broken. There's some dishes which I can see one is broken. I see a necklace and I thought I saw something right here. So I guess I'm going to kind of look around a little bit and then we'll see what we can find. Okay guys, I am back with a new dumpster dive. Uh, video. I know I've been gone for a long time, but I'm going to try to start getting videos up more often now. Um, I usually take a break like in the summer and do other stuff like with my kids and I do a lot in the summer. I just take a break, but um, I've actually been gone longer than I wanted to. So like I said, I'm going to try to get back into this and the dumpster you've seen me at right before this, I did find a few things, not a whole lot. Uh, a few things here and then this back here I found in a separate dumpster which I can see probably like a good half of it if not more is trash but I could see through the bag maybe it's on the other side but I could see through the bag that there was I think a couple books and maybe something else so we'll go through this in just a minute so let's get on into the video <laughs> Okay, the first few things that I found, I actually found three bottles of this coconut uh, oil and argon almond it's shampoo. And like I said, I found three bottles of it. It's just showing two here because I have the other one up in my shower. I already took that up there and I've actually already been using it and I really like it and it smells amazing. And these are 33.8 fluid ounces, so they're really good size, and they are completely full. If you can see, they're a little dirty, but who cares? These pumps have not even been pulled up yet, so they have not even been used. So I'm not sure why those were in there. And then I found an entire bottle of this um, smoothing shampoo also. Again, the pump hasn't even been pulled up yet. It's completely full. And that's 34 ounces. It says it rapidly strengthens and resists breakage, leaves hair soft, glossy, and frizz free. Okay, the next thing I found is already out of the box because my son's already been using this. It's a wireless charging stand with an LED indicator. And what you do is you just you plug it into like a charging box. You see, it's got like that cord. And then this lights up. It shows on here light up. It lights up blue, but it actually lights up red. Like this whole thing lights up red. And you just set your phone on here and it charges. And then I was so happy. I found this. And this is out of the box because I've been using this also. In two days before I found uh, this like straightening iron. And you can also use it to curl your hair. I was going to buy one. And I didn't. I just kind of put it off. And then I found this. And it was this was still in the box. And the cord was all wrapped up. And everything. So it had never even been used. And uh, yeah like I said I've already been using it. And it works really well. I'm really not sure if they threw it away. Because the box was damaged. Because when I found it the box was like this. But it was still in there. But, um, yeah, I don't know why they threw it out, but I'm glad they did because now I found it. And now just a few other things that I found. Um, since it's getting close to Halloween, I think I might start finding Halloween decorations. It's this, and to me, it looks like something probably went here in the middle. I don't know if it was a candle or like an hourglass thing, but I think it's kind of a cute decoration. I'm going to set it on my table, and I'm just going to set like a tea light inside here. I might get one of those orange ones, uh, you know, that they have at the Dollar Tree for Halloween time. Or I might get a red one, too, to make it look more scary but I found that and then I also found this gold one which looks just kind of like I guess something maybe you would just sit around as a decoration last thing I found in that dumpster is a set of glasses which of course uh, you know when I find glass stuff it's usually mostly broken but there was some martini glasses in there I think there's just two there was this one and this one that was not broken and if any of you have watched any of my past videos i have like an entire collection now of glasses like i have shot glasses whiskey glasses these martini glasses wine glasses all that i found in the dumpster so yeah like i said this is everything that i found in that dumpster now let's see what we got inside this bag okay before i rip it open i'll show you why i pulled the whole thing out well for one that location that this dumpster's in you 
you cannot spend any time there because it's at a mall and security goes by constantly so when you get out if you see something you have to just grab it put it in your car you don't have time to go through it there but i can see it looks like a stuffed animal here and it looks like there might be a couple books. So again, that's why I pulled it out. Although, like I said, I think most of it is just trash. I still wanted to see what's in here, so let's rip it open. Okay guys, we got it open. You can see, this is so cute. Let's see, it says neck. I think it's, it says stuffing's coming out on the neck. Let's see here. A lot of times they will have stuff that says something's wrong with it and there isn't. I don't see anywhere at all. It doesn't even have a hole in it. And giraffes are my favorite animal, so I think this is really, really cute. Go away, Chloe. Mommy's trying to make a video. And it is a tie. Let's see what his name is. Oh, Peaches, that's so cute. So this is a cute little find, and like I said, I don't see anywhere where anything's wrong with it or any stuffing's coming out. So this is the first thing in the bag. Okay, let's see if this is in here. Here's one of those, um, I don't even know, these figurines, I guess. And if you actually collect these, this is a Stranger Things Joyce. I don't watch the show, but my kids do, and they absolutely love it. I'm not sure if my nephew does or if he would even want this, but... That's the next thing in the bag. And I want to see what this was right here. It says damaged, but it's probably not. Danger, zombies, laser sharks, get your destruct on. Invisible ray pen. So you probably use that pen in this book to be able to see certain things. Like decode stuff. So that's a cute little book. My son will probably like that. And then, um, okay, here's something else in here. Let's see if this is in there. It's, it is in there. It's a original 3D crystal puzzle. Oh, I guess it's this one. It's a dragon. Like yeah, see. It is in there. And now I'm going to pull some of these books out and we'll see what all uh, the books are. Okay, so I pulled the books out, and the, this is the last of the stuff that was in that bag. And I'll just show you the books instead of, like, naming each one, which my son actually already has this one. There was that one. There's this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Dr. Seuss book, um, this one, and then there was this that, I think this is Paw Patrol, it probably went to a Paw Patrol book or something, I don't know, I know a little girl who really likes Paw Patrol though, and she has a couple books, so I'll probably give her that, and then this little black cat, I'm not sure if it went to something else, it's priced $13.95, so I would hope that it went to something else, it looks really familiar though, it's cute, and then this last book thing down here it has books like this that actually slide out if i can get it to come out they were coming out when i pulled it out there like that so it's kind of like a set so anyways this is everything that was in that bag so all these books and this stuff so i'm actually really glad that i pulled it out because this is a cute little find it's definitely worth it and a lot of times when i find these books i'll just save them up and then i take them to a bookstore by my house and i sell them just to get some extra cash so yeah i'm really glad i found this and like i said i'm going to try to start getting videos up more often i'm going to try to start going out a lot like i used to i can't go out as much as i did before before. I went out like every day of the week, but I'm really going to try. And then when it gets cold, I'll probably go out more. So thank you all for being patient. Thank you all for the messages I've gotten asking me if I was okay and everything's fine. Like I said, just took a break. So again, thank you so much for sticking by me all this time that I've been absent and thank you so much for watching.